of now. Okay. Ravi Raman is joining us. He was on Facebook a few minutes ago. YouTube may have live. Okay, very we are live. Uh, I think uh, you can start. It's all up to you. Give us the rules and everything. The rest of us, I'm going. I'm going on mute. Yeah, I have uh, prepared a quiz in the traditional format, like as if we were on location, sitting in the proper seat, and uh, various thematic rounds. Uh, I am not going to mute any of you, but I would like you to mute yourselves. And when a question is directed at you, then please unmute yourself. Okay. Also, this is based on the honor system. There is no one to check whether you are Googling the answer, whether you're consulting someone off camera. It's all for fun. We are part of the DI family. There's no prize. It's just for bragging rights that we are competing. Nothing else. <laughs> right? Initially, I had planned the quiz for a round of six teams only because we were not so optimistic about registrations. Then I was reading the thread today. Then I read there were 12 teams. Well, I don't think 12 have registered as yet. I mean, have come online. We've got the Digama family. I can see them. We've got the Khandelwal family. We've got the Fernandez family. We've got the Fonseca family. We've got the Kothari family. Rajivda, where's your family, sir? Are you a one-man team? <laughs> Bring your family in. We've got the Dugal family. They are not. Uh, the, please activate video. Dalmia family, please activate video. Dalmia family, please activate video. Uh, due to internet issues, if we um, start the video, then the audio will not be clear. So it's either the video or the audio. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. The cyclone Ampan has really destroyed us. <laughs> I swear. Absolutely. And then we have some spectators. We have the Dugal family too. We have Tanya, we have Lorraine, we have Raju. Rajuda, are you a participant? No? I, I'm an observer. Just an observer. Absolutely. Yeah, Welcome, yeah. sir. Yeah. Welcome. Tanya, Lorraine, you're our observers or participants? Observer. Observer. Okay, fine. Stephen, where's your family? Where's your son? Where's your wife? Brett is there with his mother in the background. Brett, where's your father? He's there. The wife is here also. Oh, great. It'll be nice if all of you in the frame, the Dagama family, two members I can see. The Khandelwal family is in full force. Now I must tell you about Vikash Khandelwal. He is a hardcore quizzer. And he is going to take this quiz very, very seriously. And he is here to win. But then so is Brett. Brett has quizzing pedigree. Leslie has quizzing pedigree. Steven has taken part in one of my quizzes before. I'm sure all of you have taken part in quizzes. We have Mr. Vivian Johns with us. Sir, are you participating yeah. or witnessing? Uh, I've just been witnessing. I don't mind participating if I can. I thought it's too great okay, to fine, fine. Most join. welcome. Most, <laughs> most, most welcome. Let's start over the time. So this is what we are going to do. The first... Uh, eight, uh, sorry, six for the tw the first twenty four questions will be asked, and after that we will shortlist to a to a round of six. Okay, so right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams, and after twenty four questions have been asked, the bottom two will be excluded, and we'll then have a shortlist of six teams, okay. and then we will declare the winner at the end of three more rounds. Okay. So I'm now going to share my screen with you. Now, once again, discipline is so, so important. I'm sorry I'm sounding like a school teacher. I am a school teacher. 
Leslie will know where I'm coming from. He was a school teacher for a very, very long time. And so even when I'm taking my online classes, I normally mute everyone. And it's all one-way traffic unless someone has a question or I ask a question. You have muted yourself. And please keep yourself on mute until it is your turn to answer a question. Only then please unmute. And please remember, we are doing this on the honor system. We are not there to check whether you're Googling any answer, whether you're consulting anyone. This is a family quiz. We are smaller units. We are subsets of a much larger unit called the Lousy Institute. So let's have a little fun, right? I'm going to share my screen. Good luck to all of you. Okay, could uh, Vikash, could you unmute yourself and tell me whether it's visible? That's visible, Barry. Okay. Good great. evening. Great. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Mm. Up to you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start the presentation. The first question goes to the Digama family, Leslie and family. Question number one. Ten points. Easy stuff. My name is Jetson Jamfel Nagawang. I'm, I'm scared of hurting someone's sensibilities, so and so, and I am the 14th to occupy the position I currently hold. I won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989. Who am I? The Digama family, you get 10 seconds to answer before I pass on to the Khandelwal family. Leslie. Please answer now. No clue. <laughs> no clue. You will kick yourself when you hear the answer, Leslie. I now go to Vikash Khandelwal and family. Vikash, please unmute. The Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama. Absolutely. In fact, mm -hmm. the, the famous part of his name, Tenzing Gyatso, I purposely chose not to pronounce it. So the Khandelwal family has opened their account with five points. So a direct is 10, a bonus is five. The second question goes to the Khandelwal family. Which former Indian cricketer has more test wickets to his credit than runs scored? He took 242 wickets, but scored only 169 runs in his test career. Now, if you're a hardcore quizzer, there can only be one answer. Mr. Khandelwal, do you have an answer for me? I think it's B.S. Chandrasekhar. It is B.S. Chandrasekhar. Well done to you, though. Spin legend. 15 points to the Khandelwal family after two questions. We now go to the Fernandez family. Which popular board game, Brett and family, was invented in India in the 13th century of the ports in Gyandev? It was called Moksh Patamu and was created as a moral lesson about karma to be taught to children. Brett, please unmute. Snakes and ladders. Absolutely, Brett. It is snakes and ladders. Well done. 10 points to the Fernandez family. Good. These questions are not coming back, but they're easy questions. The fourth question goes to the Fonseca family. Name the top three countries having the largest English speaking populations. I'll help you all. Okay. So, Stephen and family, the first country is obviously USA, United States of America. Just tell me the second and the third. And I'll award part marks over here. Five, five, two and a half, two and a half, if it passes. So, Stephen, two guesses. America's number one. Who's second? Who's third? Stephen, just 10 seconds, Stephen. You have to answer now. Please unmute and answer, Stephen. Stephen, please unmute. Let me scroll and see. Stephen, do you have an answer, sir? If you have, please speak. Otherwise, I pass on to the Kothari family. I can't hear you, Stephen. Are you saying anything? I can't hear you. Stephen. 
Stephen, should I pass? I can't hear a word, sir. Something, have you joined with audio? Please look at your dashboard at the bottom. Look at the left-hand side. Have you joined with audio? Stephen's audio is on, yeah. Now he's not muted. Oh God, this is going to be a problem. Stephen, what you could do is either type in the chat box or you can actually, uh, but if you type in the chat box, it must be a private message, not to everyone. Got it? So if you're in the chat box, please don't send the answer to everyone. Send it only to me. Is Stephen phoning someone? <laughs> Mr. Parekh, I have registered you as a family. Now he's muted. Steven, I'm passing on. I'll come back to you. Okay, the next person in sequence, the next team in sequence, the Kothari family. Is it Austral Australia and United Kingdom? No, not Australia and United Kingdom. Uh, actually, you, you are way, way off. When you hear the answers, you'll be shocked. Oh. The Duggal Maybe family. India. <laughs> Maybe the India. Duggal. So just one answer, please. No problem. The Duggal family, if you're there, please unmute and speak. Oh. United Kingdom and China? No, not United Kingdom and China, but I like the way you're thinking with China. The Dalmia family, please. Do you have an answer? US and Australia. India, US, Australia. So you're saying uh, India is one. I've already said USA is the top country. And, and you say three, India right? and Australia. Yeah. USA yeah. is the yeah. one that I gave you. I wanted number two and number three. Could you give me number two and number three? What about India? Sorry? India? So you're saying India is number two. And uh, who do you guess is number three? Yeah. Australia. Australia. I will give you two and a half points for getting India correct. India is number two. So well done. Thank you. But number three is wrong. I now go to the Parekh family. The Parekh family, just two and a half points up for grabs, which is country number three. Please is it South Africa? South no, Africa? It's not, no, it's not South Africa. I'm sorry. Please mute yourselves. Uh, the Digama family, your turn. Canada. Sorry? Canada. Not Canada. The Khandelwal family. Barry, I'm not too sure whether it's right. Switzerland. Not Switzerland. The Fernandez family. Yes, China? No, That's someone it. has already guessed China and it's someone wrong. Said China. Yeah, someone has said. And it was Stevens Direct, so the passing stops. I will now give you the answer. It'll be visible on screen. You'll be shocked at number three. Just one minute. It's USA first, India second. Pakistan third. India 125 million, Pakistan 108 million. The next direct question goes to the Kothari family. When I was born, I was given great strength by Demeter, wisdom and courage by Athena, a hunter's heart and a communion with animals by Artemis, beauty and a loving heart by Aphrodite, sisterhood with fire by Hestia, and speed and the power of flight by Hermes. Who am I? No guess. So there's no Pass. negative marking. There's no negative marking. 
Okay, he or passing the Dugal family. Passing. If nobody gets it, I'll give a hint. Okay. The Dugal Please give family. me a hint, huh? Not now, sir. Okay. First, let's do the round. Uh, pass. Passing the Dalmia family. Pass. You're passing. Okay, the Parik family. Is it the Amazon? particular amazon you would like to mention sir <laughs> no no i'm sorry no i no I, no the amazon no. was a female warrior race right no, uh, i don't know particular one i i don't know <laughs> i don't know no okay fine the digama family you're next Leslie, please unmute. Sorry? Is it Hercules? Hercules? No, yeah. not Hercules. Khandelwal family? Uh, uh, is it uh, Athena? Athena is part of the question, sir. Oh, just, sorry. Athena is one of the benefactresses. The sorry, Fernandez sorry. family. My mistake. The Fernandez oh, family. No problem. Wonder no. Woman. Wonder Woman, absolutely, Brett. It is the superhero Wonder Woman. And by the way, she is an Amazon, so someone almost had it right. Well done. Question number six will go to the Dugal family. Dugal family, are we ready? Yes. Which Bollywood film was added to the Guinness Book of World Records, the 2002 edition, for winning the most awards, 92 awards. And I'll give you a hint. It was the debut of an actor who would become a superstar. So the Dugal family. Can you repeat the hint, please? The hint was that it was the debut film of an actor who would become a superstar later on. And this film was a big hit. Very, very big hit. And it was the actor's debut film. So think 2002, 2001, who could that actor have been? The Dugal family only, please. 2001, 2002. Any so which actor would it be? I think we'll pass. Sorry. No, don't pass. Guess some big name in Bollywood. Guess some big... I mean, think of a big name and guess his first film. Don't pass. 2002. Yes. The beginning of this millennium. Uh, For it to be listed in the Guinness Book of World Records 2002, it, that means the movie was released in 2001, around that time. That's couldn't have been any one of the Amirs or Sharuks or the Must have been longer than that. You have any answer, sir? I have to pass. Oh, I'm sorry. You just, oh, yeah. fine. The Dalmia family, do you have an answer? It is Roshan. I want to film, film, film. Who's speaking? The Dalmia family. Yeah. is the correct answer. So well done, Dalmia family. You get five points. Well done. The next question goes to the Dalmia family. This sport was invented in India and was called Pune. British army officers learned the game about 1870. In 1873, the Duke of Beaufort introduced the sport at his country estate X, from which the country from which the game derives its name. Name the sport. Dalmia family, very easy question. In India, it was billiards. called... Sorry? Snooker. Billiards. Did you say billiards? Yeah, billiards, snooker. No, I'm sorry. Billiards is wrong. The Parek family? Polo. Sorry, polo. Polo. No, po sorry? Polo. 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 No, polo is wrong. The Digama family, please. Uh, okay. Not croquet. Kandelwal family. Sorry? It's, it's badminton. 
It is badminton. Absolutely. Badminton was initially called Pune after the, the city Pune. Badminton is right. And we've got one more question to the Parekh family. Easy question. Who is the only person in Great Britain who can travel abroad without a passport and why? Now, the why is the important part. Uh, it's the queen. The queen is allowed to travel without the passport. And the why? reason is because all the, all the passports of Britain are actually basically uh, issued on her. Well uh, done. Authority. Absolutely correct. Well done, Parekh family. Right. It is the Queen of England because all British passports are issued in her name. Well done. Very good. We are now going to reverse. And I'm going to start with the Parekh family. So Parekh family, please pay attention. What unique distinction do the following hold? Didier Deschamps of France, Mario Zagallo of Brazil, Franz Beckenbauer of Germany. What unique distinction do they share? Parekh family, please answer within 10 seconds. Are they all cap captains who lost in the World Cup? You're saying they are captains of national teams who lost in, their, in World Cup finals. No, I'm so sorry. Okay, we now go to the Dalmia family. It's actually a very easy question. Dalmia family. Please repeat the question. So it's on screen. It's on screen. I'm sharing my screen with you. What unique distinction do Didier Deschamps, Mario Zagallo, and Franz Beckenbauer share? Are these the three captains of football? Not good enough, young man, but thank you for trying. Duggal family. I like to hear youngsters try. I like to see them taking part. They are the next generation of quizzers. The girl family, do we have an answer? It's really connected with football, but... Um... These are very famous names. These are legendary names. Yeah. Okay, captains. I'm passing. Captains I'm All captains who become coaches. Just your answer is just captains who became coaches and not good enough, sir. We go to the Kothari family. Yeah, it's uh, captains who have won the FIFA World Cup. Captains, then I would have given you a long list, right? Of captains who have won the FIFA World Cup. Sorry, for every, for every FIFA World Cup, there has to be a World Cup winning captain. That would have been an exhaustive list. I've given you just three names. There's something yeah. more. I'm so sorry. Uh, the Fonseca family. Steven, are you wired for sound? Okay, I've got a chat. Let me see what he's written. I hope it's a private chat. Now, Steven writes, now, Steven, your answer is visible to everyone. Please don't do this. It must be only to the quiz master. Okay, not to everyone. Don't go for the everyone option. Luckily, your answer is right, so it doesn't make much of a difference. These are captains of the national teams who won the World Cup. They also won the World Cup as coaches of their national teams. So well done, Stephen. You get five points. It is now Stephen's direct question. Just one minute. Okay. Which book was banned by the governor of Hunan province in China? Because he believed, now obviously I'm not going to give you the time period to help you to guess, because he believed that animals should not be given the power to use the language of humans. And to put animals and humans on the same level would be disastrous. Now, please don't guess animal farm. It's not animal farm. It was before that. Okay. It was before that. Mr. Fonseca, it is your chance again. Okay, Stephen has written something. I hope it's a private one. Yes, <laughs> he types in pass. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. 
Stephen has passed. We come to the Fernandez family. Brett, please unmute. Aesop's fables? No, not Aesop's fables. Uh, Khandelwal family? No, mom, they don't talk. The Jungle Book? No, not the Jungle Book, but these are all intelligent answers. A very intelligent answer. Aesop's fables, Jungle Book, the Digama family. Sorry? The not Pancha clear. Tantra. The Pancha Tantra. No, not the Pancha Tantra. The Parekh family. Parekh family not trying? No, pass. Okay, pass. Dalmia family. If nobody uh, gets it, I'll uh, give you a clue. Passing. Uh, Alice in Wonderland? Uh, who's speaking? Dalmia family. The Dugal. The Dugal family. Absolutely correct, sir. Well done. It is Alice in Wonderland. Well done. That is the correct answer. Okay. We now come to the Fernandez family. In the words of Wafa Begum, a consort of Shah Shuja Durani, if a strong man were to throw four stones, one north, one south, one east, one west, and a fifth stone vertically up in the air. And if that space between the stones were to be filled with gold, all would not be equal to the value of what? The Kohinoor diamond? Absolutely, the Kohinoor diamond. Shah Chujat one time was, had the diamond in his possession before it went on to Ranjit Singh. Well done. Okay, we now come to the Khandelwal family. For what purpose? I, I forgot to type in the word what. For what purpose is the following formula used? The Islamic year at Akbar's crowning plus the current Gregorian solar year minus the Gregorian solar year at Akbar's crowning. For what purpose is this formula used? Khandelwal family? The is... current calendar year. See, sir, the Gregorian calendar has been mentioned in the question. Oh. So I'm sorry. I'm passing to the Digama family. It can't be the Gregorian calendar. Or rather the year according to the Gregorian calendar. The Digama family, please. This is a bonus. You just get five seconds. Isn't, isn't the Bengali calendar? Leslie, did you say the Bengali calendar? Because your voice cracked. I meant the Hindu calendar, whatever. See, I would, I would recommend that you stick with your first answer. Because this purpose is used to calculate the year according to the Bengali calendar. So I am giving you five points, Leslie. Well done. It's to calculate the Bengali calendar. See, 963 Akbar's birth. 2020, the current year, minus the Gregorian year of Akbar's birth is equal to 1427. So the Bengali calendar is now in the year 1427. Good answer. Very, very good answer. The last question of this round goes to the Digama family. The Digama family, what links the... These are Kolkata questions, by the way. The next six questions are going to be Kolkata questions. What links these three people? And there's a Kolkata question. If nobody gets it, I'll identify these people for you. But right now I won't. We have no idea who they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if nobody knows a thing, I will give a clue. So let's, let's do the round, okay? The Parek family, please. Not trying. No clue. No clue. Okay. Okay. No problem. Dalmia family, please. Radha uh, Krishna is third one. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Is Radha Krishna the third one? Radha Krishna? No, 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 not at all. Anyway, I'm looking for a link. I don't want you to identify these three. What really links them to Kolkata? The Duggal family, please. Are we trying? Mm. 
not trying. The Kothari family, please. Can you please repeat the question? I audio probably got. My son. Who who's speaking right now? The Dubai my son. The no, Kothari no, family. Kothari family. I am yes. displaying three pictures for you on screen of three eminent people, and I told you it's a Kolkata-based question. What? I couldn't see it. I couldn't see the. We can't. We couldn't visualize the uh, photo. I am. Oh, oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they are they are all the oh, british ye yeah, empire the oh, governor generals they all they are british governor generals governor generals <laughs> when oh, i give you the names you will be shocked uh the fonseca family please oh then maybe not uh, trying no, no excuse no to me i have passed on okay. no second try fonseca's are not trying uh fernandez family okay this is a silly guess all chief justices all chief justices know that's wrong but i like uh, brett is a very democratic captain he always takes you know permission from his team before he gives, gives us an answer very okay, democratic you... now kandelwal family so uh, barry are they all founders of schools in calcutta uh, not good enough vishal uh, vikash then you would have to name the schools for me but that's not oh. the story that is oh, not yeah. it whose question was it the digama family right okay now i'm going to identify them for you starting with the bottom right dr bidhan chandra rai first chief minister of west bengal in the middle is a very famous poet michael madhusudan dat and the first person is a bureaucrat a britisher his first name is stewart his second name is saunders i'm not going to give you his third name got it stewart saunders michael madhusudan dat bc roy what links these three if you do not get it now it's a crying shame especially with the first person the britisher take a guess based on the britisher the gama family please try i told you his first name is stewart his second name is saunders I won't tell you his surname. Uh, can I guess markets in Kolkata? Absolutely, Leslie. These are markets in Kolkata. The SS Hog Market, Stuart oh. Saunders Hog, is new market. Michael Madhusudan. That market is Malik Bazaar. What a way to dishonor this great poet. Malik Bazaar is named after him, and Maidan Market is named after B C Rai. Well done, Leslie. That's ten points to you. Question by Leslie. Okay, the next question also goes to Leslie because we are reversing. Just a minute. Okay, the Digama family. Tell me the location of the structure. This is the uh, Burmese pagoda in the Eden Garden. Absolutely, Eden Gardens is correct. Ten points again to the Digama family. Well done. the khandelwal family is next khandelwal family when is ba puja celebrated in our city and this is a real puja huh? and don't think ba means drinking please and why is it so called khandelwal family this is your question Vikash, please unmute and give us an answer. Is it uh, Shitra Kali Puja? No, no. Why bar them? Bar because you bar smallpox from entering. Oh, it barred smallpox from entering. Okay, so there's some logic to your answer. No, but that's wrong. Uh, Fernandez family, please. Jamai Shoshti. Jamai Shoshti. Why bar Brett? Anyway. It's similar to ball, <laughs> ball puja. So it's an anglicized version of ball. <laughs> so we do it. From Seka family, Stephen not trying. Okay, the Kothari family. Is it Kartik puja? Not Kartik puja. A uh, white bar, sir. Duggal family. <laughs> I guess some um, uh, something so, related to football. Uh, 
whoever speaking let me give you a piece of advice let me give you a piece of advice you know when you do not have a complete answer be careful whether you want to share any part of the answer that you may possess would you like to build on that answer uh, sir <laughs> um it's it, it it's something related to football i'm sure maybe one of the east bengal like the mohan bagan clubs that but i don't know more than that i'm sorry okay so i'm sorry i can't give you marks for that i'm so sorry because the question is when is it celebrated and why is it called ba pujo dalmia family this for the, the the husband of the house like god is the husband and generally in the month of may for shavitri okay. puja you are building on brett's answer now see you all should have built on the duggal family answer okay, can i try wait 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 dalmia family is wrong we're going to the parekh family parekh family please yeah is it saraswati puja the no, all the it's... lawyers lawyers are like in the bar and... oh very Loy, lawyers like, bar you know that i like place. the way you think of it the bar association right yeah bar association no 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 but i just gave you all a big hint I said you all should have built on the Duggal family answer, right? What did the Duggal say? It's something to do with East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, you know, football, the Gama family. Can I try? No, it's it's uh, Leslie's turn. Why Leslie's family. Be? So I'm gonna guess that it's the it's the first day of the uh, football league season where they do puja on the crossbar of the post. Okay, Leslie, I may come back to you. Khandelwal family. Uh, this was our question oh it was your question so uh, i'm sorry two people were close when they said football and then and leslie said you know they do puja to the cross piece of the goal post and it's the first day of the football season actually ba puja is celebrated on bengali new year day so that's when it is celebrated why is it so called because that is the day when the new goal posts are erected so the cross pieces and the posts are called the bars so they perform a puja they erect the goal posts and that's why it's called ba puja so nobody gets points for that the next question goes to the fernandes family uh brett easy question where is the pat williamson ground located i want a precise location and what sport is played there these all kolkata questions by the way all kolkata questions brett only 10 seconds sir please answer what's facing the race course So you're saying it's the race course it's the name of the race course and horse racing takes place there no yeah. i'm sorry uh steven and family Steven why don't you use a headset you will find it much easier okay there are some people who are discussing the answer and it's very audible be careful please mute yourselves before you get your chance steven are you typing out an answer only to me only to me to no one else okay no steven i'm sorry it's wrong steven says because it's wrong i'm sharing the answer it's the basketball association no it's not uh kothari family yeah, they play polo and it's uh, situated uh, in the race course that will be kothari family i am going to give you the points five points to you it is in the middle of the race course and that's where they play the polo race exactly well done exactly. five it. points to you well Thank done you. okay the next question goes to the fonseca family where in kolkata would you find the prince of wales sweet the wellesley sweet the dufferin sweet Must and the anderson sweet again i can hear people problem. please mute yourself please mute fonseca family only where in kolkata so basically name a building something like you know peerless in or writers building give me something like that or the 42 so which building in kolkata which structure in kolkata contains the prince of wales wellesley dufferin and anderson suites 
Stephen, if you can speak, please speak. Otherwise, type it out in the chat box. Okay, let's see. Uh, Stephen writes in the Great Eastern Hotel. No, that's wrong, Stephen, but thank you for your answer. We now go to the Kothari family. Is it the Raj Bhavan? Well Rolls done, Rajbhavan. young man. Well done. It is Governor House. Raj Bhavan. Well done. Another five points to you. Kothari yeah, family you. have woken up. Well done. Okay, Kothari family, this is your question. Listen. To me. Listen. This is an apolitical titular position of authority bestowed for just one year on a prominent citizen of Kolkata. The appointee has office and staff in Kolkata High Court, but does not have executive powers. In the order of precedence, he ranks below the mayor and presides over various city-related functions and conferences, as is in charge of receiving foreign guests of the government. Sarif of Calcutta. Sarif of well Calcutta. done, Mr. Kothari. Well done. Ten points to you. Thank the you. Sheriff Thank you. of Kolkata. Well done. Yes. My elder brother was the sheriff. <laughs> Your elder brother was the sheriff of Kolkata. That's yes, Anil wonderful. Kothari. Anil Kothari. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. And the Kothari family has really woken up and they've already secured 20 points for themselves. At the end of this round, we are going to bid goodbye to two teams. And the Kothari family have made themselves very, very safe. Well done. <laughs> okay. The next question is to the Dugal family. Are we ready? This is, these are questions on food and fine dining. So Dugal family, what is this fine dining experience called? You can see it's Japanese cuisine. At a hot plate, there's a chef. People are seated around his hot grill. Not only they prepare very delicious food, but they also do fantastic tricks with their spatulas and spoons and whatnot. There's a famous trick called shrimp in the pocket. They whack up a shrimp and it lands in their pockets. What is this fine dining experience called? Just one word, please. Duggal family. Sorry. Okay, Pass. Duggal family is not trying. Fine, absolutely fine. Dalmia family. Te Tepanyaki. Well done, Dalmia, Dalmia family. It is Tepanyaki. Well done. I'm a regular, I'm a regular fan of Panic. You're a regular patron. Oh, I'm jealous of you, sir. I'm very, very jealous of you. <laughs> I myself have never experienced this. I've only seen this on film. But well done. It is Tepanyaki. Okay, Dalmia family, here's your question. Can you see those symbols? I want you to identify the following symbols. Now, there's some information given in Thai. If you can read Thai, you're at a big advantage. Just tell me what okay. those symbols are. What is the symbol? What are those symbols? I think they are flowers. Just flowers, sir. You think that will be the question, the answer to a quiz question? They are flowers. This round is okay. about fine dining. Remember, this round is about fine dining and food. Okay. So these are stars, basically. You know, you, you, you experience your food and then you give a star ranking or something like that. Okay, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't accept that answer, though your teppanyaki answer is fantastic. The Parekh okay. family, please. Are they the Michelin stars? Well done. These are the Michelin stars. Michelin, by the way, is a tire company. But to promote touring and travel and hospitality, they give these Michelin stars. Look, just look at the, the ranking. One star, high quality cooking, worth a stop. Two stars, excellent cooking, worth a detour. Three stars, exceptional cuisine, worth a special journey. The Michelin stars. Well done, Parekh family. Okay. Now the next question goes to, I think, the Parekh family, right? Okay. The Parekh family, what are you looking at? What is this arrangement called? Once again, it's Japanese cuisine. 
you can see that just just give me one minute just one minute what are the things that you like sushi and then what else uh, just one second please, i'm just going to put it on you one excuse second please please just, just do not identify the items in the box i am asking what? what is this collectively known as you can see rice cakes you can see sushi you can see sashimi you can see a green salad right yeah what, what is this collectively called as one unit what is it called parek family please are we teriyaki 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 is wrong sir but i like intelligent answers digama family please I, it, look, it looks tasty. It looks like a Japanese lunch box, but I'm sure it's not called that. Uh, there is something. Uh, it has a specific name. It has a specific name. So if you've been to a, a Japanese restaurant and you want to try little of everything, this is what you should order. It's two words, and it has a. The first word is Japanese. The second word is English. Okay, Khandelwal family. This is your turn now. it's a bento box it is a bento box young man well done a bento box well done and now we are about to bid goodbye to two teams could could everyone unmute yourselves please because let's be a little charitable and generous with our applause we bid goodbye now to the fonseca family and to the bigal family big hand to them no one said it right ट great thank you <laughs> and uh, i am about to give some questions to the audience right now okay uh, digama family 25 khandelwal family 25 fernandez family 25 three teams on 25 kothari family on 20 dalmia family on 12 and a half parek family on 15 so it's still a very very close race okay. three teams joined first brett is looking shocked he believes he should be exclusively first right brett no way <laughs> okay keep me in this teams very generous of you could you mute yourselves once again i am now going to our very generous spectators who have been with us this evening i have three more questions on fine dining and those who are not in the six remaining teams may answer okay are we ready okay Now this is only for the spectators. What is this dish called? You have an English muffin, you have crisp bacon, and then you have another preparation on top of it. I can see Mrs. Paula Fernandez wanting to answer, but she's part of a team, so bad luck. Any spectator, please unmute yourself and speak. Identify yourself and speak, please. Any spectator. No one, Mr. John. Egg Benedict. Ah, uh, who's speaking? Lorraine. Okay, that's absolutely correct. It is Eggs Benedict. Well done. Okay, the next question for the spectators. Okay, now our Bengali heritage comes out. What is this mixture called? Pastoran. One jam. One jam. I would like I would like Mr. Johns to answer. Mr. Johns, could you unmute yourself, please? And could you tell me the five ingredients that make up patch foron? As Tanya has said, it is patch foron. Uh, can you give me the yes. ingredients, please? There's uh, jeera. There's oh, you give me the hinge term. Okay. You're, there's jeera. Then uh, there's methi seed. Okay, jeera, methi, both correct. Methi seed. Any more? Any more, sir? 
no aniseed would anyone aniseed? else no not aniseed would yeah yeah i can aniseed? say i can aniseed? say wait i'll say tell us tanya soft fennel seeds are there there is soft or fennel very good and onion seed which is called kalonji kalonji is right one more uh which one uh, which one are uh, which ones are said soft is said kalonji methi jeera and uh, one more which one is left uh mustard mustard mustard, mustard seed yeah yeah mustard mustard, mustard. Right. kala jeera yeah. kalonji is the same thing well, yeah well. yeah Okay, one more question on on food to the spectators. What food item is prepared using this contraption? What food item is prepared? Rumali roti. Rumali roti, absolutely, an upturned griddle on top of. Siri. Well done. It is rumali roti. Well done. Now everyone okay. believes that I've been cooking. <laughs> okay. In this now, lockdown. We now get back to cooking. Cooking. I would like everyone, spectators included, to mute themselves, please. Y'all are good sports. Thank you. Please mute. We are now going back to competitive quizzing. Okay. I start with the Parikh family. So Parikh family, please pay attention. This is a fun round. I am going to give you some pictures. and i would like you to somehow find a common thread to identify a song the pictures will help you to identify a song tell me the name of the song that's all you have to do okay parik family this is for you and it's an english song obviously Nineteen sixties, composed by a legend, recorded by a legendary group, also covered by people like Elton John. Elton John has a lovely cover version of the song. With, ev with everyone's permission, I'm going to give. I'm going to give a hint. Yeah. A hint. Yes. I do not know whether you can link it. The hint is a drug called LSD. L S D. Yeah. Now these initials are quite quite uh, revelatory. L S D. There's also a girl in the picture. Look at her eyes. So Parikh family, are you trying? Uh -huh. Can you think of anything, or should we pass? I can't think of anything. Okay, then pass. No problem. No? Dalmia family. Yeah. No. yeah. We'll just no pass. Dalmia family. Is it an English song or a Hindi song? English, English. English. I I would give it a pass. Okay, passing. Fine. Kothari family. We pass. You're passing. Fine. Fernandez family, Brett Fernandez and family. Fernandez family, please answer. It looks like a very trippy Pink Floyd song, but I can't. Oh, you're saying it's a Pink Floyd song? So let me stop you there. It's not a Pink Floyd song, sir. Kandelwal family. Lucy in the sky. A... Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Oh, because that is absolutely brilliant. It is Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Let me quote the lyrics of the first verse. Picture yourself in a boat on a river, tangerine trees, and marmalade skies. Somebody calls you. You answer quite slowly. Girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Cellophane flowers of yellow and green towering over your head. You got the lyrics. The lyrics of the first verse were all portrayed over here. John Lennon of the Beatles wrote the song. Beatles recorded it. John Lennon says it's not about LSD. Lucy Sky Diamond. Everyone presumed it was about LSD. He says no. It was about a painting his daughter had done. 
Vikash, well done, sir. And now the Dalmia family are going to be very happy with this question. Dalmia family, tell me the name of the song. English or Hindi? Family, please. Is it English or Hindi? That I can't say, sir. I cannot say. Only give me a song, please. Tell the answer. It's very easy. This one. Roll. The person is lying on the sea. Air. If it's not the Dalmia family speaking, please Pass. mute yourself. Only the Dalmia family are passing. Oh okay. my God! You will regret this. Kothari family. Yeah, pass, pass, pass. Passing. Fernandez yeah. family. Candle in the wind. Candle in the wind. No sir. Khandelwal family. Okay. Not passing. Passing. The Gama family. The Gama family, please speak. The others, please mute. Leslie and family, do you have an answer? Also. Sorry? Them. Leslie, are you trying? Yeah. I'm sorry, I, the connection just got lost. Tell me again. Uh, I said we have no idea. No idea. Okay, Parekh family? Pass. Pass. This is really, really sad. Okay, I'm now going to give a hint. Dalmia family, we we'll restart with you. This is a Hindi song. Dalmia family wanting to try? Please unmute and speak. No, they're not trying. Kothari family, are you trying? I'm just going to move on after five seconds. Fernandez family? No, no, no. Not trying? Fernandez family? No. Khandelwal no, no. family? Sadhvika Chan. Sorry, what Chan? Sadhvika Chan. No. The Gama family, any idea? Hindi song? No clue. <laughs> no clue. Parekh family? Chandni? Chandni. No. Let me tell you. The first item. Ek khilta gulab. Look at the last item. Mandir mein ho ek jalta diya. This is the song. Ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga from the film 1942, A Love Story. You know, that song is all about similes. And these pictures describe all the similes in the first verse of the song. That was a bad miss from the Dalmia family. Okay. Now the next one is the Kothari family. Kothari family, please name the song. Is it a Hindi song or English song? Can you help? English. English. The remaining songs are English. There was only one Hindi. Okay. <laughs> and if you know <laughs> <notice laughs> now, all the, all the pictures I give you are all lyrics from the first verse of the song. First verse of Kitten the song. Kitten and everything. Lyrics. Kitten, parcel, flower, mittens. <gasps> Cats all out. Tell us your song. Cat, cat. Hmm? Not trying, Kothari family. I'm sorry, I have to pass. We are trying, Fernandes. but we couldn't. Okay. Fernandez okay. family. What? Favorite things. My, sorry? My, a few, of my, a few of my favorite things. Yes, my favorite things from Sound of Music. Raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles, warm woolen mittens, brown papers, brown paper packages tied up with strings. Well done, Fernandez family. Five points to you. Well done. Fernandez family, this is yours. Name the song. Birds and 
Sorry, I can't hear you. The twelfth days of Christmas. Well done, Brett. Well done. It is the twelfth days of Christmas, and these are the first five. And a partridge in a pear tree. Two friends. That was the clue. Two turtle doves. Three French hens. Four calling birds. Five golden rings. Well done, Brett. Well done. Next question to the Kandelwal family. Okay, now it's getting a little tight now. <laughs> Name the song. We didn't start the fire. Vikas, you are telling me that this is Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire? You are absolutely correct. Well done. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific. Well done. Well done. My God. Vikas, you listen to Billy Joel. That's brilliant. 10 points to you. And the last question, let me give you a hint from now. It's a rock song. It goes to the Digama family. Name this very, 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 very famous rock song. Everyone's heard it. Every guitarist learns this song when they first pick up the guitar. What was the first song you played when you first picked up the guitar? Me. The Gama family, I need an answer, please. Good. Say something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, no idea. Parekh family. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody is wrong. Parekh family. No, pass. Not trying. Passing. Dalmia family. Not trying. Kothari family. No. After, after five seconds, I pass. Fernandez no. family. Smoke on the water. Well done! It <laughs> is Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. I'll, I'll give you the lyrics. We all came down, here, all right? came down to Montreux. That's the city in Switzerland. Uh, by the down. Lake Geneva shoreline. That's the Google uh, Earth image of Geneva shoreline. Frank Zappa and the mothers were there. Frank Zappa's there. But some stupid with a flare gun, he burned the place to the ground. The Montreux casino was burned down by someone shooting a flare gun. Well done, Brett. Five points to you. It is smoke on the water. Okay. Just two rounds remain. Let's do this fast and let's crown a champion. The name of this round is What's the Good Word or Words? So we start with Leslie and family. The Gamma family, what is the difference between triskaidekaphobia and trigger triskaidekaphobia? You know, phobia means fear of something, right? Triskai decaphobia and frigga triskai decaphobia. What's the difference? Basically, you identify the two. And if you break up the words, you'll, you'll get it. Break up the word. The Gamma family, you get 10 seconds. Uh, the first one is the fear of the number 13, and the next one is the fear of Friday the 13th. Well done, the Gamma family. Well done. Triskaidekaphobia is the fear of the number 13. Frigga Triskaidekaphobia is the fear of Friday the 13th. 10 points, important points. Very good, the Gamma family. Khandelwal family, this is yours. Seemingly easy one, right? You have to get all right. What are a male, female, and baby bear called? Now, uh, you have to get all three correct. Male bear, female bear, baby bear. Come on, Khandelwal family, quickly. Unmute and answer. The Fernandez family is ready. Uh, yeah, uh, cub. So the baby is the cub. Okay, everyone knows that, bear cub. Yeah. Tell me the uh, mother and the father. Sorry? Father bear and mama bear. 
father bear and mama bear yeah, that sounds very scientific <laughs> fernandes family please he bear she bear cub <laughs> he bear she bear you're going by according to the khandelwal family no um uh, kothari family come on you study this in primary school boar so and cub boar so and cub bo for male bear <laughs> Sow yes, so for the female and cub. cub, you are absolutely correct. correct. Thank you. Normally, bow and sow is male and female pig, right? Yes. But a male bear is called the bow, a female bear is called so. the sow, S O W, and a baby ah, so bear is called the cub. Well done, Kothari family. Five points to you. Thank you. Fernandez family. Thank you. Streak and ambush are the collective nouns of which animal? Just name the one animal. Collectively, they call the ambush. Collectively, they call the streak. Cheetah? Name the animal. Cheetah. Cheetah. No, but that's a good answer. Oh, sorry, 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 oh, sorry, sorry, the sorry, sorry. I gave the answer. I'm so sorry. This is not going to pass. It is the tiger. I'm so sorry. Okay, we go to the Kothari family right now. Kothari family. Why do Indians refer to the cricket ball as a deuce ball? Now, I'm spelling it the only way I know how to spell deuce. But why do Indians call a cricket ball a deuce ball? By the way, it's wrong. There's no such thing called a deuce ball. It's called a cricket ball. Hmm. But why do Indians say deuce? Kotari family. Because it it bounces in from the ground a bit little harder. Bouncing so, of the deuce? ball in the ground is a bit, deuce is so always a hard bounding. No, 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 no. But thank you no. for your answer. Dalmia family. No, it's wrong. Dalmia family. Do a cricket ball. Pass, pass. As a deuce ball. No, I want to know why is it called a deuce ball? Parikh family. Uh, is it because uh, uh, it was actually made by dukes, but it's just well done, Mr. Parikh. Well done. At one time, there was only one company in the world making cricket balls. It was Dukes. D U K E apostrophe S. Dukes. of great britain and dukes was mispronounced in india as deuce well done parikh family five points to you okay the next question goes to the dalmias identify a famous proverb a finely chosen nutritious fruit consumed at every eastwardly arrival of sunlight prevents the healer of all bodily malfunctions from knocking at the entrance of your abode just simplify this for me and tell me which proverb i have described in such a convoluted manner a very famous proverb dalmia family an apple a day keeps the doctor away well done sir well done 10 points to you an apple a day keeps the doctor away the parekh family gets a similar question identify the proverb Individuals who make their abode in vitreous edifices would be advised. People staying in glass glass houses should not be throwing stones well at others. Well done. People who stay in glass houses should not throw stones. Well done, Parikh family. Well done. Ten points to you. Okay. Oh, we've got two more rounds. Here's a round on religion. We reverse. Parikh family. At which religious occasion is this? Selection of items served. Just name the occasion. And if you look at the font and the language on that central bowl, you can take a good. Um, j- j- give me a second. I'm just remembering the word. Sh- is Shabbat. Sh- family. Shabbat. Is it the Shabbat? Shabbat. Shabbat is. It's held every week, sir. The Sabbath uh, or the Shabbat is held every week. This is once a year. But good but, answer. Good answer. Yeah. Parik family, please, please. Parik family, okay. one answer only. Dalmia family now. Dalmia family. Pass, pass. Pass, pass. You'll be shocked at how close you are to that answer, sir. Kothari family. <laughs> Kothari family. Is it a Parsi food? It's I don't Parsi know the name. food, like Navros. It's it's served Navros. Navros. No. Navros. No. Bread was furious. I gave an a hint a little earlier. Okay, Fernando oh. family. Passover. It is the Passover, the Jewish festival of That's Passover. Good. which coincides with monday thursday for us christians well done and when mr dalmia said pass pass i told him it's very close to the answer 
it's Passover. <laughs> Kothari family, this is your question. Or is this the Dalmia family? Dalmia family, right? Now the Char Dham refers to four pilgrimage sites in India. Puri, Rameshwaran, Dwarka, Badrinath, right? But the Chota Char Dham Yatra in Uttarakhand comprises visits to four places. Two are Kedarnath, Badrinath. What are the other two? Gangotri, Gangotri and Yamnotri. Well done, Mr. Dalmia. You're absolutely correct. Gangotri, Yamanotri. 10 points to you. Well done. Okay. Kothari family. The Golden Temple. The Golden Temple, right? What is the proper name of this temple? And who started its construction? This guru also designed it. The architecture. So what is the proper name of the Golden Temple? Harmandir Sahib. It's Harmandir Sahib. It's Harmandir Sahib. Okay, you got five points. Mm. Shri Guru Ramdas. Ram Guru Ramdas, something? Not Guru Ramdas. Ram so two and a half marks still going a begging. Kothari family gets five. <laughs> anything Fernandez anything family. more you want? No, no, what no, else no. you want? Please mute. Fernandez family. Mute. I think it was Arjan Dev. It is Arjan Dev. Brett, two and a half points to you. Well done, Arjan Dev, the fifth guru. Now, the Fernandez family. Which religion? was established in 1954 based on the teachings of American author L. Ron Hubbard. Its fundamental principles are man is an immortal alien spiritual being called a Thetan. His experience extends well belong a single lifetime and his capacities, capabilities are unlimited. A question. Yes, your question. Christian scientists. I'm not going to accept that answer. Scientology. So Scientology. Scientology. Well done. That is the answer. Christian scientists are different people, sir. Scientology is the religion. Well done. People like Tom Cruise subscribe to this religion. Okay. The Khandelwal family. Which Islamic festival is regarded as a day when the fortunes of individuals for the coming year are decided and when Allah may forgive sinners? So just name me the Islamic festival. Shabera. Sorry, Vikash? Shabera. Shabera. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Shabera. 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 Light. So Shabera. That's your answer. Leslie and family, Digama family. I think we had a similar answer to that. It was Shab e Barat. It is Shab e Barat. That's the answer. Shab e Barat. Well done, Leslie. Five points. You worked off Vikash's answer. And the uh, Digama family, this is your question. What is this ring called? And who wears this signet ring? Five points for each, two and a half if it passes. It's called the fisherman's ring and the Pope wears it. Absolutely. Ten points to you. It's called the ring of the fisherman. And it's worn by the Pope. One round left. So let's look at the scores. The Digama family is on 50, 5 0. The Khandelwal family is on 40, 4 0. The Fernandez family is on 57 and a half. The Kothari family is on 33-0. The Dalmia family on 32 and a half. And the Parekh family on 25. So the top score is 57 and a half. Next come the Digamas on 50. A couple of answers away. Maybe one answer, a direct. And then come the Khandelwals with 40. But the others are not too far behind. 32 and a half, 30, 25. Last round of six questions. Oh, sorry. That is the final score. I had brought those questions early. So I'm so sorry. We have to crown the victors right now. Could we all unmute ourselves, please? And a big hand for the Parekh family. Six to 25. A big hand for the Kothari family. Fifth with 30, a big hand, Dalmia, both with 32 and a half. In third position, the Kandelwal family of 40. In the second position, the Gamas on 50. 
and the champions are very big hand for the champions the fernandez family on 57 and a half well done people thank you for sharing sorry i'm going to stop sharing here Thank, thank you, you. thank you, Barry, for an excellent, excellent program. Thank, 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 thank you, Barry. Thank you very much. Well conducted. Thank you, Barry. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.